Hey everybody, I thought I would show off these care packages for the homeless really quick and make it a face cam because people like to watch face cams or pre videos with my face in it even though I'm really awkward and weird in them but I figured if I showed this off and showed why I picked each of the things it would inspire people to maybe make some care packages of their own and give them out for the holidays or not the holidays and, and know what to give. So. <laughs> Uh, first is these thermal socks because it's the winter right now, so if you are in the northern hemisphere, the upper northern hemisphere, it's really cold. And one of the number th one things homeless people said that they don't have enough of in shelters or just on the street is socks. So I figured I'd get them nice warm socks. So one pair of socks in each of these. I'm making 20 of them. That's what I could afford to make. So... And then I got these Cottonelle flushable wipes because sometimes it's hard to have access to running water or just getting into a bathroom or wherever. And so you can wipe down on this just to get feel a little bit cleaner. You know, you wipe your areas, your armpits, and your genitals. I got a really big box of, of chewy granola bars so I could put two of them in each of them. I guess it's a big box to me. It's probably not actually a big box. Um, so a little snack. It's not a whole meal, but it's something. also got tampons because uh, another item people say that is not donated enough is sanitary products for people who have vaginas. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of teenagers who are homeless are LGBTQIA+. So there's a lot of trans teenagers out there, so I just didn't want to qualify it as being a feminine product. Some people have vaginas and are dudes. Um, so even if the person I give this to doesn't need them, I'm hoping that maybe they can give it to somebody that they know does need them. So I'm just going to put a few in each of them. Here's some welcome to my tampon video. And then a hygiene pack with a toothbrush, shampoo, uh, what is this called? Toothpaste and soap in case they get into a bathroom and they're able to clean themselves. And then my mom gave me a hundred dollar bill for Halloween that I've been holding on to. And uh, I'm going to go to the bank and exchange it for fives and then put a five dollar bill in each one of the uh, bit, uh, these things. And I know a lot of people say, like, you shouldn't give people money, like people who are homeless or begging or underprivileged money because they think they don't know what they're going to do with it. But that's actually a fallacy. The best thing, well, one of the best things you can do is give somebody money because they know what they need. So maybe they need something that I can't think of, like Band-Aids or something or maybe they just want a hot meal from the place that they choose from or maybe they're allergic to something in the in the granola bars I got so this is the best thing to give money and uh, some people are like oh they're just gonna spend it on drugs or alcohol and it's like I mean that's what I was gonna do with it so what's the difference and you don't know and even if like five percent of people or even 50% of people you give the money to spend it on alcohol and drugs, should the other 50% suffer because other people did? Like, it doesn't matter. Just be nice. Okay. Um, so these, this is what I chose to put in the bags. And I hope you guys want to do that. And also, if you don't have enough money to give out things, you don't need to feel bad. It's okay. You shouldn't have to do things that are outside of your means. Uh, you should take care of yourself first before you're able to take care of other people. It's important to do that because if you only take care of other people and don't take care of yourself, you become burnt out and you get cranky and you can't help anybody. So I hope you guys like that and I keep burping. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. <laughs>